Yellowstone National Park sits atop the world's most famous supervolcano. If it were to erupt, ash and molten rock would spread across the United States, devastating the country and disrupting the global climate. Yellowstone Volcano Eruption Called Deadliest Volcanic Eruption in History For more than a century, researchers have been trying to pinpoint the location of Yellowstone's volcano and its potential for an eruption. But that's been difficult without knowing exactly where all the molten explosives are stored. Now, a new study has pinpointed the location of Yellowstone's magma chamber and predicted when it might erupt. The Yellowstone caldera contains a magma chamber that's about 40 to 80 kilometers, 25 to 50 miles, wide. Where the stored molten rock meets solid, unmelted rock, a layer called the magma layer forms. The location of the magma layer, its depth below the surface, and how abrupt or gradual the transition is, all help scientists predict an eruption. But previous geophysical imaging has been sketchy. Estimates of the depth of the magma layer, for example, range from 3 to 8 kilometers, 1.8 to 3.5 miles. Led by Rice University researchers Chenglong Duan and Brandon Schmant, a team set out to take a closer look. To do so, they used a technique typically used for oil and gas exploration. They parked a 50,000-pound, 24,000-kilogram, truck in the northeastern caldera and turned on a seismic vibrator. Because Yellowstone receives thousands of visitors every day, the team had to conduct their research at night. Illuminated by moonlight, the truck's vibrator sends seismic waves into the ground, essentially causing small earthquakes. This is called vibrosism. It works similarly to bat echolocation, they produce waves that bounce off objects and then return, reshaped by the objects they bounce off. Each year, Yellowstone National Park draws millions of visitors who want to see erupting geysers, steaming hot springs and bubbling mud pots. This famous natural landmark is the result of the park's unique geology, it sits atop a supervolcano, which has had three major, explosive eruptions in the past 2.1 million years. Yellowstone's last eruption occurred about 70,000 years ago, when thick lava bubbled to the surface and flowed across the landscape. The last major eruption occurred about 631,000 years ago, creating a massive crater known as the Yellowstone Caldera. Many curious observers have wondered if and when Yellowstone will erupt again. Now, scientists are using a new technique to help answer these questions. A new analysis published last week in the journal Nature suggests that Yellowstone is unlikely to experience another major eruption, at least, not anytime soon, because the magma lurking beneath its surface is compartmentalized across a network of different chambers. Because of its vast amount of magma, Yellowstone will remain volcanically active. However, there's no single area in Yellowstone that could erupt, lead study author Ninfa Bennington, a seismologist at the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, told Sarah Raza of the Washington Post. There's a lot of magma there, but it's not very connected. Previous research has suggested a vast magma layer beneath Yellowstone, but the new findings contradict that idea. There are separate areas where magma is stored in Yellowstone, rather than having one big reservoir, Bennington added to Fox Weather's Angeli Gabriel.